Now, as the finance minister prepares to present the mid-year budget review, expectations are high regarding the government's plans for the energy sector, which has faced scrutiny in recent months due to the resurgence of intermittent power outages commonly known as Dumso and rising cost of fuel. Senor Business's Daniel Sakite places a spotlight on the energy sector in the following report. In the 2024 budget, the government projected that Ghana's economy will surpass the one trillion gross domestic product mark, attributing this to significant strides made towards economic recovery. The government pledged to sustain this economic expansion by protecting the gains for the benefit of citizens and fostering private sector growth. Key to this pledge was ensuring the availability of reliable energy supply. Despite these promises, the energy sector faced intermittent power outages or doomsaw, disrupting businesses and increasing costs for those relying on alternative sources of power. The Ghana Grid Company, Gridco, and the Electricity Company of Ghana faced public pressure to adhere to a load shedding timetable, however, that was not heeded to. Recently, power supply situation seems to have improved. Executive Secretary of the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, Duncan Amwa, shared expectations for the media budget review, particularly concerning the energy sector. We need a certain focus, a certain strategic focus as a country through a deliberate budgetary allocation towards particularly solar. Once this is done, you'll be freeing the pressure that you have on your, your power sector so that a lot more of the households at least can be able to generate even power uh, and where possible uh, net off on the national grid and even be able to uh, sustain something for your national grid. But unfortunately, it looks as though our focus has not been towards that. And for us, that is quite worrying. Uh, there's power availability today. There's power affordability. A lot of Ghanaians are still complaining. But as to whether we have sustainability the numbers within the, the industry do not support this. And I, I'm, I won't be surprised if in the very near future, we are plunged into, uh, you know, a bit more difficult doom so than we have seen, uh, I mean, parts of this year and last year. The government also committed to engaging independent power producers to ensure energy sector sustainability, restructure legacy debt, and finalize commercial agreements. However, Sunon Asogli shut down its 560 megawatt power plant in December 2023 over unpaid government debt, reversing the decision after assurances from the finance minister. Finance minister Dr. Amin Adam announced a $1 billion restructuring of legacy debt with IPPs, which was disputed by Dr. Elit Pilim Kwabna Apetodbo, CEO of the Chamber of Independent Power Producers, who claimed the debt exceeded $2 billion. Another key area in the energy sector has to do with the cost of petroleum product. Fuel prices have in recent times witnessed hikes, with Gua, for instance, selling a liter of petrol at 14 cities 80 pesos, while a liter of diesel XP is sold to consumers at 14 cities 92 pesos per liter, as at the first pricing window of July. The second pricing window of July has seen some oil marketing companies upwardly adjust prices at the pumps. One of the leading oil marketing companies, Shell, for instance, which previously sold a liter of petrol at 14 cities 80 pesos, is now selling at 15 cities 10 pesos, while a liter of diesel previously selling at 14 cities 92 pesos is now selling at 15 cities 25 pesos. Stakeholders are questioning government's growth for oil program. Derek Hatcher is with the Institute of Energy Security. Now for the month of July, prices continue to increase at the, on the international market where we are price tickets. Now the city has also continued to depreciate and so prices continue to go up again. And so you have to ask yourself, what is the issue? What is the impact of it? The impact is that we've not been able to ensure a stable uh, prices of petroleum products at the various pumps. Alternative to making this policy better is to have a round table discussion, engage the policy makers and ask the BDC what is the issue. The issues about the BDCs right now is access to forest. The forest is that they need almost $450 million on a monthly basis to import this petroleum refined crude products to Ghana. What is made available to them by Bank of Ghana is around $120 million. Now this $120 million is just about 30% of what they need. All eyes will be on Finance Minister Dr. Amin Adam on July 23rd when he presents the 2024 media budget review. For energy sector players, they will be expecting the minister to announce measures to prevent a return of intermittent power outages as well as measures to tame rising cost of fuel. For CNL Business, my name is Daniel Sakite.